I'm also trying to find a way if I can get some like sl slightly cheaper parts. I'm not really looking for any like full sponsorship or anything, but I'd love to partner with a company to uh, to get so uh, like a discount on some parts. It would be a uh, it would be um yeah helpful for me, and hopefully it'd be something that they would see some value in as well. Just got a tweet from Mac about you because I was or oh, sagging him off on Twitter. You just make sure you're ready next time we're at land together. Coming for you. Oh, mate. I, I will be ready. I'll be so ready. I'll be so ready it's going to hurt. Anyway. Um, we've got Awoken to begin with. I'd assume that this is a Razi's map pick. And it's Sawlag versus Ranger. I think that Razi's got the best Sawlag in the game, personally. I think there's a couple of champions that he plays the best, plays better than anybody else. Sawlag would be one, Clutch would be another. Uh, after that, it starts to get very contentious with the other champions, in my opinion. And Phase is saying Anarchy would be the third. I, I think it's a possibility, but there's definitely some other very good Anarchy players. Tox springs to mind. Venga's not bad of anarchy whatsoever. Even Cooler's not totally horrific, but I don't think I'd put him this top. Quick feel is there. Goes in for one shot. It's like if I stick my head out here and I miss the next rocket, then it's so not worth it that he actually starts to get put out, pushed out of control where he can even. To the point where he can't even challenge. That's a lot of damage. Oh, he has to hit a shot here. And he's... Is that mega spawning? Uh, I think there's an overcommitment there from him. Overcommitment and... Maybe too much reliance on hitting the shot that he's looking for. I think he may be surprised that that last... That the third rocket didn't get the kill. But he's got a good spawn. And uh, Cooler denies this, but I'm not sure how much it's worth. There's no rail for Razy, so he can't go into full spawn kill mode. Well, not a bad fight there from Cooler. Being very heck. First minute was slow, second minute has been nutty. I think he felt like he could maybe get the kill before the heavy spawned, but felt like even if he did get it, then he would be low afterwards. So Cooler had armor there, but he didn't have much in the way of health, so uh, not a bad push. But it does show that you can be pretty active right off a spawn with uh, a heavy champion. Especially someone like uh, Sorlak, who can pick up momentum with movement fairly effectively. That vertical LG is nice. He's actually chasing this. Holy crap. Putting a lot of faith into his aim and to his read of where Cooler would be. He gets pushed through, so... Is his, his detection up at connector, just in case he was there, but then he figured out down at the bottom. Oh, the rocket misses! <laughs> well, I don't know how Cooler found that shot. I think it just shows how big Solag is. He might, rock, he might rock a jump out. Okay, no. Razy can be crazy. But he can be calm as well. Takes one rail for it. Eh, that's fine. Stack's still nuts. Now he's losing. He really needs to do damage. Fortunately for him, Cooler messes up his movement, but then he realizes he's run out of rocket ammo. Mm, it feels far more worth it for Cooler. But smidgen of free damage there. Ooh, that, those nails as entry. Oh, that's just a really sick weapon choice, actually. And managing to hit the shots with it. And this time you can see not able to execute. And how differently things pan out. 
five for five. What a weird game. How many games have been shown on stream today? I I've probably casted two, three, four matches. Let's say three or four. The weird sound thing going on there. Cooler. I mean, he couldn't spend much time. Ooh, he couldn't spend much time allowing the orb to go. He just had to orb somehow. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he could have. Like, if he had pillars and stuff to dodge behind, he maybe could have got... Oh, dude, that should have hit. That was one of the easiest rails. Razy will hit, like, three hard rails now just to make up for it. Dude, he must be on five health there. Razor's very frequently going for this. He should be on like 80 health and 50 armor, so that's a tough push. Very, very tough. There's resource up in mid, so he can put himself up to plus 100 collective health and armor. Nice dodge. Really, really nice dodge. Is that any of that hit? How did all that hit? It looked like it connected. Oh, did, I think he did get the damage over time on. Just for a second, but there was that. Oh, There's a little kerfuffle for a second with his aim, but he hits it. Thanks, uh, Teleper. Very aggressive from Cooler. I think he knows that Razy doesn't have that much stack. Razy's so good at getting damage every time off the spawn. Now he knows it's kind of low. There can't have been a light armor there. Did he take the light armor that fast? If he did, then he must have orbed to the light armor from to the teleporter from taking the light armor. I think my room's dusty, guys. So that IRL stream couldn't come sooner. Very much about defending the lead now for Razy. It should be absolutely possible, but there's always uh, an interesting uh, array of possibilities with the Ranger's Dire Orb. He's not a bad comeback champion at all if you're managing your ability to handle well. Uh, Storm saying the scented weapon makes me uncomfortable. Uh, you know what? Like I thought I'd like a scented weapon a lot, but I never really used it in Quick Live, and it actually does make me uncomfortable in Quick Champions. You know, I know a lot of people like it. I agree with you. So orbs used just for control there. So his ability is not going to be up for let's say 25, 30 seconds or so if he's taking a couple of uh, hourglasses. And that's really the ability that he needs to properly catch up. And they can't be used for control anymore. It goes for the dive down. And it's going to be damage off the spawn again. Just waits for it patiently. And it looks like Cooler is just fighting, dude. Just get the kills. But at this stage, I'll just be... There's no sportsmanship at this point. You're eight and a half minutes and you're five frags up. I would just sink the nail in deeper. Alright, guys, quick vote in chat. I'm not making a poll or anything like that. Would you do what Razy's doing, or would you go for the frag? So say Razy or frag. One minute warning. Frag, frag. Kill, kill, kill. Razy. Interesting. I'm actually surprised how many people go with uh, Razy there, but I see that it's definitely uh, not obvious. Manganite says frag since it accounts for tiebreak. That's a, that's another part where I'm inclined to totally agree because 
you still can gain a competitive advantage by going for the kill. So who knows if if, if Cooler didn't go AFK, Razy could have still have gotten a kill in the next few moments. And, uh, Specky or Speckle says, uh, if frags are factor, then go for the jugular. There's definitely a good, like, five plus of you who are saying you do what Razy did. Uh, that's an interesting, uh, another interesting point, because there was that crazy game where Kilsa was like 33 to 3 or something like that. And there were a couple of instances where I think Kilsa was just going for it constantly, constantly, constantly. It's not clear what the cause of the AFK was. If I knew for a fact that he'd checked it out, then sure, but it could have been a computer. Yeah, if it was like earlier in the game, then I'd be like, and it was still a close match. I'd be like, are we restarting then? Because you've literally just, you know, messed up the flow of the match. I don't know. I'm pretty ruthless as well. I might just have gone for... I might just constantly go for the kills, to be fair. That's a pretty decisive win, though, for Razy overall. If you pass the next stage in a tournament because you found an AFK opponent, people will meme about you for... I think I don't think they would. I think they'd be like... And imagine if it was the player who went AFK, and it's like, oh, well, you beat this guy. Not just because you beat him directly, but actually because you overall got a higher frag differential. And the guy would be like, why did I go AFK? I, think I would meme about that person rather than the person who's farming the AFK frags. Shouldn't be AFK in any tournament. Yeah, I mean... I agree with that. I think the competitive integrity is to, like, you play your game from start to finish. If you have to play the full 10 minutes, then you should play the full 10 minutes. I don't know. It's like a really minor point, but I still think it's interesting to expand on a bit and get everyone's opinions. Prepare to fight. But for YouTube viewers, there was it was probably like 60-70% would say, said frag, but good 30-40% were saying they would uh, do as Razy did. So it wasn't as decisive as I thought it might be. But we got Clutch right now. Going versus Aizen. Obviously, it's Razy playing Clutch. One of the very few people that actually got Clutch out of the tournament at all. I think the only people that played Clutch competitively at QuakeCon was Venga and uh, Razy. I think Venga may have only used Clutch once, but won his game. But Razy used it like eight, nine, ten times and had like... I think he only ever lost one map with Clutch. That was a really nice... D wait, let's go back on that. So he wasn't there. I think he must have dropped down then. Yeah, he, he did just drop down. You can see by the trajectory of the lightning gun there. That was a really cool little play by Cooler. And I personally think that... Although it's, I find it annoying going versus Clutch, there are so few players who actually can play him that I think that competitively, his balance is quite good right now. Like, I, I certainly wouldn't want him buffed anymore. I, I think I think he is he is deemed absolutely fine. Okay, he does get the mega. He needs to hit loads of shots, which he's not doing at all. And you can see, this is like. Razy's uh, emotional range right here. There, he just... here. Yeah. Oh, God. Hello. I wasn't meant to do that. <laughs> there. And that was it. That's, again, that's what we're doing. We're breaking down the games here. I can imagine if, like, it was Kilson or Rafa or Dahang or something, the, the, the range of expression would be far more animated.
I think balance is good across the board, except Solag seems a little overbuffed. Solag is maybe in a tricky position right now. I think that there's been discussion about Galena with the overstack healing and time of the deal. I think Galena could be potentially a bit strong. I think I'd actually go as far as um, lobbying to get the overstack removed, overstack heals removed. Alright, it's just a turret, but it's now gone. Gone from consideration. That was a really tight angle to blast out. Ooh. Close fight, but well uh, crafted again by Razy. This time, he managed to get himself on the board. And again, like... With no shield or anything like that, still going at those up-close fights, you've really got to be stacked, and you've got to be confident with your shots. Okay, that steal from the light armor was super nice from Cooler. Razy kind of needed that, and he also hit, like, j j jack shit, basically. Good weapon choice for the turret. I would like to try out Galena with no overstack heal. If Sinker is listening in chat, be here something interesting to test in PTS. Super close, man. Holy crap. You need HP. I wonder if Cooler's going to come blasting in at some point. He doesn't go for the rockets because it's more likely that Cooler might go for them. And knowing that Razy has had limited HP... Now that he's avoided that kind of fight, he can try to go for a different one. One rail. Whoa, man. He knows of that rail that he's then got a chance to win that fight. Pretty nuts stuff. This seems a little bit more crazy to me, even with the shield. He's just leaving himself so low. Can he get to Mega? Oh, that rocket. He knew he knew so badly that he needed to get the kill. Because it was all of a sudden... I, I don't know. He needed to get the kill, but at the same time, he probably shouldn't have hung around there with such low HP. And he banked on that a little too hard. That's actually a, uh, possibly a very, very big turning point in the game. I don't know if Razy should have gone into that fight. He's just not hitting enough there. Razy is uh, being over-aggressive now. That's two frags in a row. Because he's well on his way to winning the game if he doesn't make those last two maneuvers that initiated two frags to Cooler. Because Cooler didn't really have to make the play for them. He was, The play was made for him. He just had to hit the shots. There's Nosfer or Nosfer. I think someone got angry on me on YouTube for calling you Nosfer too much. So it turned her into some of the worst champion in the game for no reason. Well, I think if you don't get rid of the damage block, but you do get rid of the overhill, I think she's still very good in combat. And you do have the damage that the totems do. I don't know. I, I still think she's kind of viable. Oh, I'm getting called by the wife. I'm still keeping the game on, though. I'll take care of this, peoples. That's the teleporter you don't want to be going through. Yeah, there's no chance you get away from that. And that's a little bit of a sigh from him, because now the lead goes to Cooler. Biggest concern of Galena is a hitbox. She's very close to light champion. Yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of these rockets that are not hitting that well. 
Ooh. Okay, tied up. He's kind of been able to reset things a little bit, but he still needs to get the hell out of there. He can't challenge for fights. He's even been careful to try and listen out to what's going on near the rockets because he's approaching with caution. Uh, most people using default window settings at cast asked by Dirac. Yes, I believe so, but I, I also don't know. Dude, no damage at all. Did he have his shield? No, he didn't have his shield. He couldn't get out of there. Like, cool as LG was on, and then it stayed on. So Razy looking to get back in this, but Cool is dodging the rockets expertly. And now he's got to get out of here. There's no Mega. Is there anything that he can take comfortably? This is very tricky at the moment for Razy. He really needs a major item, I think, to properly give himself the resources necessary. Like, his positioning is good, but Cooler's going to be hiding now. I say going to be. He seems to be here for heavy. Wow. Okay, so did Razy, like, not know the timing or something? He just didn't really block that whatsoever. The rail is okay, but Cooler's just as he was before he picked up the heavy. And he's going to get Mega as well. I don't really understand what Razy's doing now. Ooh, okay. He just waited for like a small moment to go in and that was it. That was what caused him to bite. He got a good entry shot and finished it off. Like where he pushed him with the rockets was very, very nice in terms of allowing him an easy follow-up. The thing is, it's slightly stressful for him while he doesn't have his ability up. I really feel like Razy should be winning this game. There's the shield. Definitely got to watch out of that tri -ball. Dude, the turret is doing so much damage as well. Like, in combination of the LG, I think that the turret is the MVP of the last fight. Let's look at that. I don't dislike the move here, but staying on it... Like, at that trajectory, both the turret and Eisen are hitting him. And his HP is just going down so far. He needed to get on and he needed to immediately strafe to the left. I think that's a slight underestimation of actually how much damage the turret did during that scenario. Hi, Mr. Pistolero. And I think this is the only time during QuakeCon that Razy lost with uh, Clutch, as far as I know. I know, right, Nesfa, but it's actually ridiculous because most people are far too scared to touch clutch. <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't think the turret was doing pure damage at all. I think it was just... Um, uh, just when you combine, what is it, like 140 DPS plus the 60 DPS? Even with a 40% damage reduction, it's like, it's still adding up considering how long he stayed in that fight for. Really, no, sir. Not uh, Again, for the for the VOD. No, sir, wasn't expecting anyone to use Clutch in the tournament. Yeah, one of the precursors to joining Maestro Gaming is that you have to know how to play Clutch. Uh, Garpy... Razy and Wenger have all either either all play clutch or have played clutch. <laughs> I'm not saying it's true, by the way, that you have to play clutch to join Maestro, but it feels that way. Prepare to fight. Yeah, Razy's got a very very good champion pool. 
really good champion pool. All right, so we got to corrupted keep. We've got BJ versus Strog and Pika. We know that Razy's good with BJ. I'm just wondering, like, how good is Cooler with Strog and Pika? Because I don't really know. Ooh, that push by Cooler, man. He got the damage right off the start, which Razy didn't expect. Even though he gets dual wheeled out, he's just too late already to begin to uh, conclude the frag. I think Razy expected him to be low there. Hey, that could be the difference between a health capsule and no health capsule. He does get the heavy. That's a pretty shocking start for him. Really, really good weapon switch for him. That was the perfect weapon switch. Look, just open my favorite chat. What's up, fam? <laughs> I like it, Meister. Although I don't want flashbacks of 2018 clutch. So Razy has settled things down a bit. Why am I keep getting called? Oh my god. Sorry guys, this is like a really inopportune time to pause. Um, where's this damn number? Well, we'll just go, because I can't find it. But as soon as this uh, game is over, then I'm going to have to uh, AFK for a little bit. Farm OPs. That's pretty savage to go through that choke point. You want that mega that that bad? This is a cool position to hold though, and he has managed to push Cooler back. If he was any further forward, then it seems like it's easy damage that he takes. Let's go back on that. I want to see what the hell is going on there. So he's done a lot of damage. Not that surprising. That's a surprising attack. Cooler. I feel like he exposes himself more than he should. Maybe he should have been going for the damage instead. At least to switch the rockets real bad. Okay. Good switch. Super close fights though, holy crap. Super, super close. So now it's really on Cooler to push back into this game. This is not, he's not giving Razy like any space to breathe. Which might be good, like this, this feels like more investment from Cooler to try and force his way back into the game. And he has shifted Razy off of control. Has he got enough stack himself that he can now impose himself onto Razy? Oh, that dual wheel machine gun play, man. Ooh, bloody hell. Cooler was banking on that. I 
Had to use up so much LG ammunition for this. I don't think he had any like good weapons to get rid of the uh, of the Pika. That's why, like, on a rail map, it's much more easy to deal with because it's just instantly dealt with. But again, Cool is just running on, taking so much entry damage. This feels like this is the way that Cooler was playing during the uh, championship match. Really aggressive. Gonna try and make the same thing work again. This time, razy has got a lot more ammo to work with. His dual wheel seems a little all over the place, though. I do not know how. Yeah, he decides. You know what? I maybe won't push. I feel like Razy's LG was subpar just then. Sneaky, sneaky. This is tricky now. He's let go of it. He just put himself in a really, really bad position then. When it when it got to just here, he pushes in. There, he hears the sound where, like, Razy's, sorry, where uh, Cooler's moved here. So Cooler can either go down here there, he can go back in, but it really sounds like he's pushing forward. But as soon as he moves through the teleporter, I, I think Razy should have been backing away. Because he has no LG ammunition. And this fight really doesn't favor him. If he hits the first rocket, then maybe, but then how does he get out? He's relying on that first rocket landing. That's a really, really sick push from Cooler. <sighs> Pressure's on now. Pressure's really, really on. And again, this is like such a decisive game that uh, if you can win it, then again, well, I guess if you if you win it, then you're like a top contender. And if you lose it, you can uh, find it's maybe uh, starting or the tipping point for you. But I'll talk about the results afterwards. Dead. I have a precautionary dual wield. He has a stack, and it kind of makes sense to defend the spot now. The cooler can't really escape very easily. Yeah, that's that's the frag. You feel like forced to do something there because if the mega spawns, then you know Razy can just push through the teleporter. So you're kind of like, all right, how do I do this? How do I get out? I've seen Kilson deal with it quite well, taking a jump like off the top, really effectively. Well, now this is a really, really good lead for, for Razy in the last two and a half minutes. So Cooler's got to go mad to uh, to get the W. And you see he's committing more and more and more. But these, this frag investment isn't something that can work. Honestly, I don't really know what his strategy is at the moment. It feels almost like he's given up. Because it's gone from being very close to now Cooler getting farmed off the spawn almost. Oh, he messed up so bad. He got the click. Even Razy can smile at that. He's like, all right, I've just like messed up when that should have been a freebie. But his ammo situation didn't let him do anything. Oh, he somehow steals that. What was that jump? He like slowed down his jump a lot. not hitting enough again. Cooler's just got three frags in really, really quick succession. Holy shit. Razy needs to slow this down. Because this this comeback shouldn't be possible. But that's what happened. He messes up one spawn frag and this is what occurs. He's back away. He's done some alright damage. Is that me? I I've not been paying attention to any spawn times. Just run, run, run right now. K 
kill that time. Wow, cool as fast. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if this was a rocket jam. Did we hear that? One minute warning. Where's he coming from? Oh, I think he jumped over from the 225 health spots, and I just had a really, really good jump. So two frags to hold on to. Mega gained. This is good, but it doesn't necessarily save him. The bigger aspect is actually getting hold of the rockets. But he's still just got to leg it. He just needs to get the clock to 9.54, 9.56. And he's done it. So that's GG right there. And he does get the win on Cooler. So overall, this is a big win for Razy. Cooler is a does become a front runner later on today uh but obviously that loss hasn't stopped cooler from progressing any further he's still got one point for getting a map win but it's uh one of those things where if cooler maybe lost 2-0 and has a hiccup elsewhere and things can get troublesome he over, this is like one of the two losses that cooler suffered during the group stage one of two losses and that's all the losses that he had Right, I do need to take a quick break, guys. Um, I need to call the wife, and I will be back, and we'll do some more games. So uh, hold on tight, y'all. I'll be back in hopefully a couple of minutes' time.